It's Monday, the 6th of May, 2024. Welcome to Capital Newsbeat, where we take a look at the day's top stories. I'm Angela Wamboi. President William Ruto has said that each of the 40,000 households that have been displaced by the ongoing floods will receive a stipend of 10,000 shillings. Speaking when he visited flood victims in Madare, the head of state assured the displaced families will be given alternative land as restoration of riparian land starts. Mimi nataka niwaambie kuna watoto wetu ambao wanasoma. Mashule yao imeharibika. Mimi nataka niwatangazie hapa Nairobi. Serikali tumetoa shilingi bilioni moja ya kujenga mashule yenu upya. Tuhakikishe ya kwamba kila mtoto wa Nairobi na kila mtoto wa sehemu zingine za Kenya wanarudi shuleni pale tutakapofungua shule wapate shule yao iko sawasawa ndio mtoto wa Kenya asikose mahali ya kusoma wananchi wa hapa kiamaa iko tunaelewana wale wote mali yenu imebomolewa hapa na hii maji si namna hiyo mimi nataka niwasihi kwa sababu wengi wenu mumetoa mali yenu kwa hiari Mimi nataka niwahakishia kwamba tutawapangia makao mbadala. Na mimi nataka munisikize vizuri. Watu wetu wa provincial administration, national government administration officers wakisaidiana na wanajeshi, wakisaidiana na NYS, wakisaidiana na askari wetu. Wale wote households 1040 hapa Nairobi ambayo wamehamishwa kwa sababu ya safety yao kila boma serikali tutawapatia shilingi elfu kumi ya kutafuta makao mahali mtakaa mkingojea mpango ya serikali Speaker of the National Assembly Moses Watangula has recalled legislators for a special sitting to receive and deliberate on select committee reports probing agriculture cabinet secretary Midika Lenturi's impeachment the House team, led by Marsabit County Woman Representative Naomi Wako, was formed on Thursday after 149 MPs supported a motion filed by Bumula MP Jack Wamboka to dismiss Linturi for gross misconduct, gross violation of the Constitution, and committing a crime under national law. Article 152.7 of the Constitution and Standing Order 66 provides that the 11-member committee shall, within 10 days, report to the Assembly whether it finds the allegations against the Cabinet Secretary to be substantiated. And finally, Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa says Wasingishu and Kiambu County government are undermining coffee sector reforms by registering millers as marketers. Speaking during the Intergovernmental Budget Economic Council Summit, Gashagwa warned that the national government will delist entities to avoid conflict. In our reforms in the agricultural sector, we have made great progress in the coffee subsector reforms, but we are a bit concerned from the national government that some counties have engaged into activities that undermine those reforms. Despite having agreed that we shall not have multiple licenses so that the sector is not captured, we did agree that those who mill should not market. But some counties, contrary to what we agreed, have licensed everybody to be millers when they are marketers. That's, this undermines the progress we had made so far. I want to request the counties to be part of the reforms and to stick to what was agreed on. Otherwise, we shall have a crisis because what we have agreed is where the counties have gone contrary to what we had agreed, unlicensed millers who are also marketers. The national government would register them as a marketers, then they can mill. And this will cause conflict that is unnecessary. And that's a wrap up of the day's top stories. For more, log on to www.capitalfm.co.ke.